Prerequisite. Concepts. Non-technical. Introduction. To. The. I. Deterrence. Problem. And. The. Winner. Is. Many. Worlds. Follow up. To. The. Altruist. Burden. One. Way. To. Overcome. The. Altruist. Burden. Problem. Is. To. Stop. Being. An. Altruist. To. Ray. Frame. Your. Impulses. To. Help. Distant. Others. As. A. Bias. Rather. Than. A. Preference. In. The. Case. Of. Existential. Risks. There. Are. Additional. Reasons. For. Doing. This. Firstly, that the people who are helping you are the same as the people who are punishing you. This is not the case for aid to the developing world. This is not an option that I personally like. Another perfectly valid reaction is to just take the hit and accept that you will be taken advantage of as an altruist, but that it is worth it. This is also not an option that I personally like in this vein there is the ominous possibility that if a positive singularity does occur the resultant singleton may have recommitted to punish all potential donors who knew about existential risks but who didn't give 100% of their disposable incomes to X risk motivation. This would act as an incentive to get people to donate more to reducing existential risk and thereby increase the chances positive singularity. This seems to be what self coherent extrapolated volition of humanity might do if it were an a causal decision maker. One so a post singularity world may be a world of fun and Plenty for the people who are currently ignoring the problem whilst being a living hell for a significant fraction of current existential risk reducers say the least generous half you could take this possibility into account and give even more to X risk in an effort to avoid being punished. But of course, if you're thinking like that, then the self singleton is even more likely to want to punish you nasty. Of course, this would be unjust, but is the kind of unjust thing that is oh so very utilitarian. It is a concrete example of how falling for the just world fallacy might backfire person with respect to existential risk 
especially against people who were implicitly or explicitly expecting some reward for their efforts in the future. And even if you only think that the probability of this happening is 1%, note that the probability of a self doing this to a random person who would casually brush off talk of existential risks as nonsense is essentially zero. A more exciting and to my mind more preferable way to overcome the problem is to quickly become so rich that you can turn charity into business by single-handedly changing the faces of high-impact industries. Elon Musk is probably the most unexceptional example of this. I swear that man will single-handedly colonize Mars as well as bringing cheap, reliable electric vehicles to the consumer. And he'll do it at the same time as making even more money. The key to this tactic is scale. You can't contribute zero 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 two percent of the effort to colonize space or mitigate existential risks and reap zero 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 one percent of the reward you get zero or even negative reward if your contribution is below some threshold the quantum billionaire trick but how can an individual do an Elon Musk job on existential risk not everyone is a good enough entrepreneur to drop out of grad school and come out with $300 million startup before their classmates even have PhDs. Well, there is another way to make $300,000,000,000. Start with $30,000,000 and use them a quantum random number generator gamble it on the forex markets at a 10 0, 0, 0, 1 ratio then in the branches where your gamble pays off start an AGI company hire the most unexceptional people and build FAI yourself. You could hire existing existential risk charities as consultants when you required their services. You can increase your chance of success in at least some branches by tossing a quantum coin make key decisions you could take say 50 percent of the universe for yourself and donate the other 50 percent to humanity in your half you 
can then create many independent rescue simulations of yourself up to August 2010 or some other date who then get rescued and sent to an optimized utopia. You can also use your resources to causally trade with a sev like singleton that might otherwise punish you for being a partial X risk reducer as mentioned before you can also use resources to causally trade to with all possible unfriendly eyes three that might be built exchanging resources in branches where you succeed for the UFI sparing your life and pensioning you off with a tiny proportion of the universe in branches where it is built given that unfriendly I is said by many experts to be the most likely outcome of humanity's experiment with I this century having such a lifeboat is no small benefit even if you are not an causal decision maker and therefore place no value on rescue simulations many youths would be a causal decision makers though it seems to me that most people want box on Newcomb's problem and rescue simulations seems decision theoretically equivalent to Newcomb a win win solution what I like most about this option is that it is a win win interaction between you and the rest of humanity rather than a lose win interaction humanity benefits by having a much higher chance of survival in one in ten zero 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 of the branches of the wave function and you benefit by getting the lifeboat removing the possibility of punishment and getting the rescue simulations it also avoids the bitterness inherent in the first option and the suckerness inherent in the second that nobody thought of win win solutions to existential risk before may be a testament to zero sum bias one one might think that the possibility of self punishing people couldn't possibly be taken seriously enough by anyone to actually motivate them but in fact one person at SIAI was severely worried by this to the point of having terrible nightmares though the wishes to remain anonymous the fact that it worked on at least one person means that it would be a 
Temptum. Policy. To. Adopt. One. Might. Also. Think. That. Sev. Would. Give. Existential. Risk. Reducers. A positive. Rather. Than. Negative. Incentive. To. Reduce. Existential. Risks. But. If. A. Post. Positive. Singularity. World. Is. Already. Optimal. Then. The. Only. Way. You. Can. Make. It. Better. For. Existential. Risk. Reducers. Is. To. Make. It. Worse. For. Everyone. Else. This. Would. Be. Very. Costly. From. The. Point. Of. View. Of. Self. Whereas. Punishing. Partial. X. Risk. Reducers. Might. Be. Very. Cheap. To. A causal. Trade. Is. Somewhat. Speculative. It. Is. The. Idea. That. You. Can. Influence. Causally. Disconnected. Parts. Of. The. Multiverse. By. Doing. Simulations. Of. Them. A. Simpler. Explanation. Of. How. You. Can. Affect. A. You find. In. This. Way. Is. To. Think. About. Nick. Vostrom's. Simulation. Argument. From. The. Point. Of. View. Of. The. You find. If. You. Historically. Played. A. Quantum. Lottery. That. Definitely. Paid. Off. In. Some. Branches. Of. The. Wave function. Then. The. You find. Will. Assign. Some. Probability. To. Being. Simulation run by you if that is what you pre committed to doing, and if you actually follow through on your pre commitment, the you find can test this by simulating you three. This idea is in part due. Rolf Nelson's idea of using the simulation hypothesis to causally trade with youths. Read his blog to find out more. One might think that the possibility of self punishing people couldn't possibly be taken seriously enough by anyone to actually motivate them but in fact one person at SIAI was severely worried by this to the point of having terrible nightmares though the wishes to remain anonymous I don't usually talk like this, but I'm going to make an exception for this case. Listen to me very closely, you idiot. You do not think in sufficient detail about superintelligences, considering whether or not to blackmail you that is the only possible thing which gives them a motive to follow through on the blackmail there's an obvious equilibrium to this problem where you engage in all positive causal trades and ignore all attempts at a causal blackmail until we have a better worked out version of 
TDT, and we can prove that formally it should just be obvious that you do not think about distant blackmailers in sufficient detail that they have a motive to actually blackmail you if there is any part of this a causal trade that is positive some and actually worth doing that is exactly the sort of thing you leave up to an FAI we probably also have the FAI take actions that cancel out the impact of anyone motivated by true rather than imagined blackmail so as to obliterate the motive of any super intelligences to engage in blackmail. Meanwhile, I'm banning this post so that it doesn't give people horrible nightmares and be give distant super intelligences a motive to follow through on blackmail against people dumb enough to think about them in sufficient detail though thankfully I doubt anyone dumb enough to do this knows the sufficient detail I'm not sure I know the sufficient detail you have to be really clever to come up with a genuinely dangerous thought. I am disheartened that people can be clever enough to do that and not clever enough to do the obvious thing and keep their idiot mouths shut about it because it is much more important to sound intelligent when talking to your friends. This post was stupid for those who have no idea why I'm using capital letters for something that just sounds like a random crazy idea and worry that it means I'm as crazy as Rocco. The gist of it was that he just did something that potentially gives super intelligences an increased motive to do extremely evil things in an attempt to blackmail us. It is the sort of thing you want to be extremely conservative about not doing the problem with this post is raving madness of its presentation even if conclusions you presented are defensible you can't just state absurd things not clearly explained it's not a matter of not telling what you believe to be true. It's a matter of a rational mode of communication. People shouldn't believe absurd things, much less statements of confusing meaning, unless all steps 
are laid out or unless they are willing to spend time on research it's fine to discuss such things in comments with people who you know share the necessary background as i did a few weeks ago on this same topic but a top level post requires much more background building work from my perspective the directness of the exposition is a virtue but that's because i'm reading it with entertained admiration roko dude i'd say more than half of the conceptual ingredients here don't apply to reality but i have to respect your ability to tie them together like this and i'm not just reading it as an exercise in inadvertent science fiction i've actually been waiting to see what the big new idea at the end of your mwa slash copies slash etc series of posts would be and i consider this an excellent payoff it's not just an abstract new principle of action tailored to a particular ontology it's a grand practical scheme featuring quantum investment strategy a causal trade with unfriendly eyes in other everett branches the threat of punishment by well meaning future super intelligences and most unexceptional of all its a philosophy you can try to live out right here in the world of daylight reality i salute the extent to which you have turned yourself into a cognitive reactor for futurist pioneering this is one of the craziest in a good way posts i've read here of course pioneering generally means you are among the first to discover the pitfalls mistakes and dead ends of the new territory i'll try to say something more constructive once i'm done with the enjoying